Hello guys, now I'm on my way to check a Frigidaire refrigerator. The customer said the ice maker is not working at all and the water dispenser is working but it's throwing water kind of weak. So uh, we're gonna find out what's going on. Now in this side-by-side -side Frigidaire, it's very common that the filter gets stopped up, it gets clogged. So most of the time, the only thing you gotta do if the ice maker and the water dispenser is not giving you any water basically if the is on the ice maker side is not giving you any ice or small cubes and the water dispenser is throwing water kind of weak just go ahead and replace the filter before you start replacing anything else so if you replace the filter and you still get low water and no ice or small cubes go ahead and replace the filter housing so I'm gonna go ahead and check what's going on with this Frigidaire refrigerator and I'm gonna come back in a minute to the truck and let you know what did I found and I'm gonna see if I got the things that I need to be able to get this repair going okay guys I checked the Frigidaire refrigerator and I found that it wasn't making any ice at all so what I did is I went into the dispenser and it was throwing water but it was kind of weak it was kind of slow so I go ahead and replace the filter and right then and there it gave me enough pressure on the water dispenser but it didn't make any ice it wasn't dumping any ice into the tray now I'm gonna give you an example if you replace the filter and you're not getting any water I'm gonna give you a very simple explanation and how to replace the uh, filter housing, which is easy. I'm gonna go ahead and leave you some footage right here. If you got the right tools, you should be good to go. Now, after I replaced the filter, I didn't have to replace the filter housing, but I was still not getting any ice on the ice maker. So I took it apart and I realized the motor that turns the teeth to make the ice go all the way to the edge and drop on the bucket, the motor tip was stripped. So back in the day, they used to sell this motor apart. I really don't know if they sell it or not, but once one of these things happens to me, what I do is I just order a new ice maker and you know I remove any other possibility that the component are bad. However, in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how you can get it going again until you get the part because you might have to order this on Amazon. It's gonna be a link in the description of this video. So if you wanna go ahead and get your ice maker going until then, or you wanna do a temporary fix, I'm gonna go ahead and leave you some footage here. That way you can just adjust this motor in a way that it can turn this pulley. So if you can move the motor to make the pulley to spin again, you can if you can adjust the pulley of the motor and bring it further to where the other pulley from the mechanism is and they make it turn again, that should keep your ice maker going until you get a new one. Or you can do a temporary fix, but who knows how long it's gonna last because one of these pulleys are stripping and it eventually is gonna stop again. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave you this footage right here and then you can go ahead and order the new ice maker. All right, guys, I just got out of this uh, service call and I was checking this Frigidaire refrigerator ice maker and it took me a long time to figure out how I was gonna get this ice maker going until the ice maker arrived because it was gonna take about a week to get here and I want the customer to have ice. I replaced the filter and we fixed the water pressure situation, but I had to order the ice maker. So like I told you before, I'm gonna go ahead and leave you some footage right around here. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna go ahead and leave you a time lapse of the whole video, but you can find a detailed repair on the description of this video. So if you wanna go ahead and watch the whole video with over voice, go ahead and go to the description of this video and there's gonna be a link for you. So if this video helped you in any way, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and comment down below what do you think about this repair. Thanks for watching.